Well, hi, it's Jackie, and this is the Art Blog. Today, I'm remembering the first art print that I purchased. It was painted by Maurice Utrillo, and it hangs in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. And now I've discovered Suzanne Balladon, muse, model, lover, artist, and she was all that and more. Suzanne Paladon painted like a man, strong, bold, and nothing shy of a Degas or a Toulouse-Lautrec. In 1984, she became the first woman painter admitted to the Society of Beaux Arts. She was the mother of painter Maurice Utrillo. So today, I'm sharing her story. And here it is. She was born in 1865, poor, out of wedlock, daughter of an unmarried laundress, rebellious, independent, resourceful, and a whole lot more. From age nine on, she supported herself by doing odd jobs, including circus acrobat. At age 16, a fall from the trapeze ended that career. Her body was strongly built and beautiful and looking for a safer occupation. She became an artist's model. Valadon was a self-taught artist because she observed and learned the techniques of all these artists who she modeled for. And so she modeled for Lautrec, who gave her painting lessons, Renoir, Modigliani, and Maurice Utrillo. In the early 1890s, she befriended Edgar Degas, Degas, that's him, who was impressed with her bold line drawings and fine paintings. He purchased her work and encouraged her effort. She remained Degas' closest friends until, or one of them, his closest friends until his death. The most recognizable painting of artist model Valadon would be Renoir's, his dance at Bougival. And Renoir also painted her portrait again as girl braiding her hair. She frequented the bars and taverns of Paris along with her fellow painters and she was toulouse Lutre's subject in his oil painting, The Hangover. Valadon painted still lifes, portraits, flowers, and landscapes that are noted for strong composition and vibrant colors. She was, however, best known for her candid female nudes. I'm personally attracted to these still life paintings with flowers. And here is her self-portrait. So Valadon died on April 7th, 1938, at the age of 72, and among those in attendance at her funeral were her friends and colleagues, Andre Durain, Pablo Picasso, and George Brock. And there you have it, the mother of Maurice Utrillo. After being taught to paint and mentored by his mother, he became one of Montmartre's best known artists, and I bought an art print by Utrillo for my first apartment. So, little did I know that one day, I too would be an artist who paints strong, bold paintings. If you haven't seen it, here's my latest portrait of Marilyn Monroe. Thanks for watching. What one word describes Belladon for you? My word is courageous. Please leave your word in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time on the Art Blog. Thanks for being here.